My name is Ben Bos. I was a bit nervous at the beginning. I, I forgot something all of a sudden, but later on it was all right. My workplace process is so, uh, a bit similar to that of Bob Gill. I'm the man of immediate ideas, and then I stick to that ID and in most cases I, I work it out and it is accepted. Um, sometimes I'm, I'm afraid because the ideas come so quickly into my mind that um, um, I, I tend to be uh, a bit critic to myself. Here you are again and, and you've solved the problem already. Uh, and is that right or should you think uh, a bit further? But that's how I am. It comes up like a fountain. I love of Offset. It's, I think, a beautiful co formula. It's a crazy building, this building in which you do this all. Uh, but it's a fabulous space. When, when, once you're in inside the theater itself. It's great. I understand that there isn't um, um, uh, much of um, your design history to be found in this country. Your, your design history is, as a matter of fact, much shorter than, for instance, the British or the German or the Swiss or even the Dutch. And you need things, uh, events like this, to uh, reach a broad audience of students and to get them in touch with the international scene. So I think it's it's a very valuable um, um, idea and concept. I must. Um, attend the presentation of the, the bro brothers, the, the Stone uh, Twins. They live in Amsterdam and we never see each other. And we, we can compensate that today. So Try it again. Would you be able to? That's right. Thank you. I am Ji Lee. I'm a designer. Uh, my offset experience has been amazing so far. It's my first time coming to Ireland. Uh, I didn't know quite what to expect, but. Um, it was really a nice experience coming here. I really love people. Uh, everybody is so hospitable and warm and helpful. So I've been uh, walking around and, and meeting people and it's been really, really incredible and I was really lucky to also have a great weather. Uh, I was really uh, surprised about the venue and the, the amount of people who came to this event. I didn't expect that so many people, I think something like 1,800 people came here. I, I had no idea so many people would come. Uh, it's, it's an amazing venue. It's one of the best venues I've ever, ever uh, spoken to. And uh, uh, highlight has been just meeting people, talking, and, and just uh, exchanging ideas. Yeah, this project is different. I see myself as a communicator and uh, a lot of my projects are based on ideas and, and less about uh, the craft. Um, so I, you know, I usually uh, approach my project from the idea standpoint and then whatever is the best fitting for that idea to be executed. It could be a video, it could be a game, it could be a website, it could be a street art. So I work with lots of different media, so it's about the idea and less about the stuff. A couple of projects that uh, I'm proud of, I think the, 
the most well-known project that I did is called the Bubble Project, where I placed uh, 30,000 stickers in the shape of speech bubbles on the street advertising and left them empty where people can write their comments. Uh, it was uh, my really first main personal project that got a lot of attention. So I'm really proud of that project. You know, the works that inspired me the most are, there's no one person in particular, but all the amazing projects that I see every day on my news feed or Twitter or people talking about, just everyday people who took their passion and energy into creating something that they're really excited about and, and made into the project. You know, it's, sometimes it's a video, sometimes it's a website, sometimes it's a street art. There's so much inspiration happening right now. And because of technology, people have access to tools and people have access to uh, uh, media that allows them to spread this project. So it's the, it's the people in the internet that excite me and inspire me the most. I love Offset. speaking and I was just the trophy wife and that was great but this is even better it's been a wonderful experience I love the, 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 the way you choose your speakers there's such a, a good range um, I this time Bob Gill was incredible an octogenarian just like uh, when I was here two years ago George Lois was a star and it's great to see that that older people can still command these audiences as, as well as the younger people too. It's, it's just a whole range of inspiration. I start by talking to the client as much as I can and, and just trying to understand what who they are and what their project product is. And then I do the research phase, which is a very important part. And then I start sketching, which is also a very important part. I don't sit in front of a computer screen, which is something that a number of us have, have mentioned at this conference. Well, I'm hoping that they come to me with a certain aesthetic in mind. And they, they say that they come to me because they want the kind of work that I do. But it, it can sometimes be challenging. But I, I also try not to ever repeat myself. I'm always trying to do something new and something that, that I will get excited by. So I also always make a point of, of not taking on a project unless it's a product that I really believe in. If, you know, especially because I do so much work in a food. If the food doesn't taste good, I don't do the job. Um, describe Offset in a sentence. Uh, I think just the people that I deal with, Bren and Peter and Richard, they're so incredible because they're so laid back. I'm always amazed that they can pull off this conference, but they do. Yeah, we were really, really um, inspired and entertained by Mr. Bob Gill yesterday. I think... Um, Bob. Yeah, Mr. Bob Gill. I think we've always been big fans ever since, like, yeah, our college days and reading and discovering, like, um, Fletcher, Forbes and Gill in the 60s. And I think um, that kind of a design has always appealed to us, this kind of concept-driven, idea-driven design. and. Um, it's something we can relate to, the sense of narrative, uh, the storytelling, uh, but just the way the energy, the energy of, of Bob yesterday on stage was just great, and um, yeah, it was quite inspirational. In 1991 we had a, a guest tutor in the NCID, uh, Von Oliver, and he opened up a world, um, amazing. 
few weeks later we had another creative, a guy called Woody Bertle, um, former partner of uh, Pentagram. And I was like, wow. And, and as, Wolfgang Weinhardt. Yeah, and as students, yeah, if the, the kids out there are like seeing all these guys, not us, seeing all the other guys, that's brilliant. That's opening up a well, whole new world. But I think what the most important thing, is, and it's, it doesn't need any uh, egging on the um, or no exaggeration, but the sense that you get an insight into the way these people think by just seeing how they are talking about their work, and that's the most important thing, because we're living in an age of the internet and everything is accessible. It wasn't so accessible 20 years ago, so for us to access the work of Bob Gill or even Vaughan Oliver, well, in Vaughan's case, you'd go to a record store, but Bob Gill, it was work that was in books. Nowadays, you're just one click away from the work of all these great icons, design icons. And I think to, to see them on stage, to, to have an understanding um, of the way they are as people, the way they interact, uh, that's the most important thing that any student or any aspiring designer will get out of something like Offset. Yeah, the first thing you ask is how much, how much is it? How much do we get for this job? And then we go to a laundrette. Um, <laughs> we and yeah, Bob was Bob was was just right, just so spot on. We we go for walks. We we, we talk to the clients. We we um, we try and read we, uh, and understand what, what the, the clients, who they are, what they are, what they want. Um, and, and generally, um, the answer is always in the brief. Logo RIP, just because we put probably two two years of our lives into it. Research, writing, and then at the end it was like, oh yeah, we need images, we need visuals. Um, just that then a discovery. Um, 50 logos, 50 different companies. Um, probably that, because we actually got it done in the end. Um, but I think you know sometimes the the, the commercial stuff is, is also great and um, gives us fulfilment because it's it's there's so many many requirements and and, and the strategic thinking and and, and um, yeah it, it's 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 a difficult one. I mean, it, we said during the presentation, well, one of my favorite pieces of work that we've done is just our letterhead. It's the idea that how do you represent a company? of two people. So for us it was very obvious that Declan uses one side of the paper and I use the other. And in a way the simplicity is, um, that's what's very appealing to me. I mean if you think of, uh, I think simple is really hard. So something like that, it's almost, yeah, there it is, that's the idea. And that's what I really, really like in terms of how the actual design is expressed. Maybe it could be done better, but we're not really in, so interested in graphic design. It's more like, it's really the ideas. And we always kind of say to ourselves and to sometimes to the students, like, if your parents don't understand this, then what's the point? And I think with something like a two-sided letterhead, it's easy, it puts a smile on people's face. Could you describe Offset in one word or one sentence? Mega. Can I have a word as well? sentence, offset in a sentence. An educational an educational and illuminating and heartwarming experience is offset. I mean, it's just been one long highlight, to be honest. Honestly, it's and the warmth 
I think, of everybody. I mean, I've kind of been bumping into people that I met here probably 20 years ago when I spoke at the, is it the NCAA, NCAD. the college, NCAD, sorry. And um, obviously I'm kind of looking through beards and wrinkles and everything 20 years later and to recognize these folk. And um, there was such a kind of genuine, you know, response to, to kind of a meeting again sort of thing. People like Kieran that's talking this afternoon at six o'clock. I slept on your floor you know, 20 years ago. You know, you gave me some good advice before I set up around Europe. Um, favorite piece of work. It should always be the last one I've done, isn't it? Shouldn't it really? Um, I. Ah, yes, I have just finished some work for the Breeders, which is a, a, a box set of vinyl celebrating the 20th anniversary of their album, The Last Splash. So, in terms of kind of a <clears throat> talking to the band about what they wanted, I said, well, I said the last thing we should do is use the original sleeves. Let's do a complete mashup, collage, mess, make a whole kind of mess over it. And that's what they allowed me to do. And I'm kind of in my element when I'm allowed that kind of freedom. It's not that hard. These days, you know, I've had 30 years practice at it, so they sort of know what they want. And uh, that's frustrating. You know, they want something, oh, well, maybe a little bit Cocteau Twins, maybe a little bit Pixies, maybe it, I always want to move on and do, you know, move into new territory. So that can be frustrating. <laughs> Projects, I think, bring different processes. I don't necessarily have a formula, apart from uh, speaking specifically about the music stuff I do. I mean, I always start with, you know, if you're doing a book jacket, you read the book. So with the music, I listen to the music, I read the lyrics, I talk to the band about what they want from the from the packaging, etc. So that's the same every time, but the process after that uh, varies. In, in one word. Um, Unmissable. Unmissable?